from the newsroom at news.com.au. We'll start with politics, and the Australian public certainly seems to be impressed with Anthony Albanese and his Labor government. A new poll shows that Labor has a primary vote of 42% compared to the coalition on 33%. Mr Albanese is also way ahead in the preferred PM category. He leads Peter Dutton 55% to 17%. Moving on now, a 40-year-old man has been jailed for bashing the block star Shayna Blaze. The man attacked the TV personality from behind in 2020, punching her in the back of the head. He was found guilty of unlawful assault in April, but immediately appealed. That appeal has now been dismissed and he'll have to serve 100 days in prison. Overseas now and in the US, Anthony Fauci, the top infectious disease expert who became the face of America's fight against COVID, has announced that he's stepping down. The 81-year-old, who has served under seven US presidents, will leave his position as chief medical advisor to Joe Biden in December. And still overseas, there was an earthquake in Bali yesterday. The 5.5 magnitude quake hit about 49 kilometres southeast of Nusa Dua, with tremors felt in Denpasar, Ubud and Kuta. Here's what one Aussie tourist told Channel 7. We were in our room on the third floor and then we felt a shaking and we both kind of looked at, me and my husband looked at each other and went... What is that? Is that an earthquake? And we kind of kind of fogged it off. And then the second was so much stronger. We went, we need to get out of here. So we kind of jumped up, kind of ran outside. To Royal News Now, Prince William and Kate Middleton's three kids have been enrolled in a fancy new school. George, Charlotte and Louis will start going to Lambrook School, which costs $12,000 per student per term. The school, which has mandatory Saturday morning lessons, has its own bee farm and a nine-hole golf course. And finally, in music news, New Zealand-born singer Margaret Ehrlich has died at the age of 57 after a two-year battle with cancer. Ehrlich found fame in Australia for singing The Horses with Daryl Braithwaite, but chose not to appear in the music video. Follow or subscribe to From the Newsroom wherever you get your podcasts.